Happy Friday! Hey, good morning, everybody! <laughs> it's time for Drive for Five. Woo -hoo! Boy, we got a good one this week, Brenda. The, the good news is, it's not a crossover edition, so it's going to be a lot faster than <laughs> yesterday. It won't be 30 minutes long, we promise. We may not do a crossover anymore, Brenda, because you know I can talk. And that, that, I have a few know. words to say once in a while. <laughs> So we appreciate y'all sticking with us yesterday. Okay, so the drive for five this week is we are having five tables. Yep. For five dollars. Yep. All right, so there's quite a few perennials on those tables. Um, we do have some shade ones and some sun ones, some part sun ones. We've got a couple wagons here. We're going to move through them quickly just quickly. to show you the selection that we have. Yep. And before we get started, oh. I remember it's biotown bio time. Biotown time. Especially this time of year, you're putting perennials in. Don't forget your biotone, everybody. Get those roots really established up for the winter so that next spring they'll come up real strong and healthy for you. Yep, a couple tablespoons a gallon, you think? Yep, I think so. That Make sure it gets its roots. Yep. All right, Kay, what do you got in your All cart? All right, so I, let's start with the shady. So okay. we have two tables that are in the shade, and, you know, one of these tables is a big table, so we do have a lot of plants out there. So one that we're offering, this is a lamium. This is called Archangel. Um, and so this is an incredible ground cover, very aggressive. If you need to cover some ground, this lamium's the one to do it. Has a beautiful little silver variegation in it, which is pretty. Um, and you can put it in a container, but it will fill the container eventually. But you see, it really drapes well. Right, and this um, we have this growing under our tables. We pulled it yep. out for the spring when we took down the wisteria, and it's come yep, back it's stronger come back than strong. ever. So another shade lover, and this one can take a little sun too, okay? This is, we have a few of these, and this is a great deal. This is the semi suffuga chocolate. This is the black cohosh. When it comes out in the spring, it's really dark, almost black purple. Um, but this one takes a little bit to get big. Brenda, you said you had one? Right, I have one, and also right now it is blooming, and it yeah. is probably about four feet tall, very fragrant, white Oh, it's fragrant. There's Isn't a couple I... white blossoms. I'm not Chocoholic and Hillside Beauty are two fragrant ones. Okay, because I sure put one right. in this year. I can't wait to see what happens. It takes a while for it to get established, but once it yep, does. It's worth waiting on. Mm -hmm. uh, and then this we have just a straight up pasta. We don't have a variety name on this. No, it's not Honey Bells, but it's actually, oh, I can't remember, but can't it started, remember. yeah. I, I'm not going to go there because I don't yeah. want to waste time. We don't know, but yeah, yeah, but well, lots Seeds. of pasta. Seeds. It does spread. Seed. Yeah, this is a spreader. Um, do you have anything for yeah, the shade? Let me see what I have. All right, I have the Shaggy Shield Fern. Oh, yeah. This is a port. Um, we have quite a few uh, selection of ferns. There's not a big bulk number of them of right. each variety, but we have quite a few. We have the Peacock. Um, Arbor Bitey Fern, and this is a Shaggy Shield Fern. Yep, that's a great deal on and that. And there's some Japanese painted ferns in yes, there. Yes, there's some Selaginella in there. Yeah. Right. And then the ginger. Uh, this is the arrowleaf ginger. Yep. This is very hardy. Yep. I have this underneath my deck. It stays fairly moist under there. It's right near some river rock. It does get a bloom on it. It's sort of a, a deep blackish burgundy bloom. All right, and this is arrowleaf ginger. Nice ground cover, shade, yep. moisture. Does really, really well. And I think you know, I have another one. This one right here is a ground cover. I'm just going to pop this one in here. This is a ground cover. It's creeping raspberry. Stays evergreen. Great ground cover. can take cover. sun and it can take part shade. Yep. Um, and it's pretty aggressive. I've, I've planted is. this on hillsides. It's done really well. Yep. If it's in the full, full sun, it does need a little bit of moisture. Um, I have, in the springtime, sometimes you'll get some black leaves on it. And I've taken a hard rake to it or ground leaves, I should say, and I'm taking a hard rake to it, comes back, all new growth and stuff, but it is, I would say, 90% evergreen, so it's a yep. great ground cover, stays low, um, and it does have little tendrils on it, so yep. it will um, stick to things And it also. has a flower and an edible berry, not a ton, but you'll get a little edible, you know I love to graze, Brenda. <laughs> I've been picking the raspberries off. All right, that's what I got for shade. Let's start with all the sun. Let's go into the sun. We have lots of liatris that we grew this year. Now, these didn't bloom this year. They'll bloom next mm -hmm. year in their second year. This is the violet one, I think. We have a couple of white mixed in, but this is going to be more the purple, the tall, uh, spiky purple right. blue. Right, chickadees, finches love it. Blooms yep. late July. Yep. You actually had some in right. our seeds yesterday. And you, and you can see it and spread more. It grows yep. by a bulb. And then this is another one Brenda talked about yesterday. This is our red lobelia, the native. 
This one can take moisture. Yes. Um, and you can see the basil growth is really interesting, and then it'll put up this bright red flower that the hummingbirds love. So this is a great one. Right. It just had to, right, and it just had to go through a cold period, yeah. so it won't so, bloom this year, but yeah. next year. It'll bloom okay. next year for you, so that's a good one. Some of these are repeats that yeah, we've talked about before. This is our hardy begonia. This is more of a shade lover, and this is a great deal because this was actually ten dollars. Right. So five. We have quite a few of them. Yep. And then this is another great opportunity for your Joe Pie weed. This is baby Joe. Right. This is a little bit shorter, getting yep. about two to three feet. Lots of buds and blooms coming on this baby right yep. here. And I bet if you cut it down like you did yours, it would be a little shorter and the blooms would be bigger, don't you think? Yes, um, And but this is huge. I mean, this has a lot of growth to it. Yeah, and, and, this is a huge. There's that's a lot a, of nice ones. And there's a few Miss Rubies out there also. Yep, great deal. And then we've had this one on our Jopper 5 before. This is the Neptune Catmint. And boy, that's really coming It's actually our strong. next year's crop, but we're yeah. just... We're offering up some fun surprises for you guys. And then this is the Bacova. How do you pronounce that? Yeah. Do you know? I one say of... Biocova, but could be Bacova. There you go, Biocova. This is one of the little native like geraniums. This one has a light pink flower on it. And the fall color on this thing is gorgeous. I planted this a lot. Part sun. AM sun is the best for it. Okay. Um, low. does turn red in the fall. It has a great scent to it. Um, the animals don't bother it. It's a white flower with pink filaments. It's a great ground cover. And it does, as you can see, it spreads nicely. Yeah. I have this at my oh, house. I smell, smell it now. Yeah. It does smell good. Yep, so that's a hardy mm. geranium. Okay, what and have you got, babe? So I have some rutabecchia. Mm. We saw this before when it was just the basil growth right now. When they were $5, right now it's the early bird gold. So this is going to start blooming in June and take you through the summer. It's got lots of buds on it. So it's, it's come out of the basil stage and growing up and budding out. And then we also have the snow, the snow cap, right? Yep. The snow cap daisy. This one stays shorter. Yep. Lots of green. Um, Beautiful green growth. Right. And this, this spreads nicely. It's a shorter blooming daisy. Uh, it's a new crop, so they're just starting to bloom now. Yep. Yeah, that's a great Full opportunity. Sun. A few of those out there. And my favorite aster. Mm -hmm. Gotta tell you, mine are all butted up. Oh, uh, mine too. I cannot wait. And the monarchs are starting to come through, so I can't wait. They got a little bit of slug damage here at our place, but mine are looking great. Uh, it gets about three to four feet tall. Very, very sturdy. Uh, monarchs, butterflies, yeah. uh, the bees. The bees up at the wasp, the beneficial wasp. wasp. Yeah, everything will be on it at the same time, and it's, it's probably about two weeks out before it starts blooming. Yeah, mine are just starting to swell yeah. up a little and bit. And they'll bloom right It's probably the last thing that blooms, I yep. think. And then this has been a favorite. We still have a few of these left oh, that look really good. The gorgeous. sneeze weed. Uh, we still have some yellow ones left. This is the salsa. Mm -hmm. so they're dancing on the table. They're looking yep. great. They're beautiful. Lots of buds on them still. I've been noticing those in some people's yards. Okay. So this is the coreopsis. <laughs> the, the basil, the, the foliage underneath doesn't look so great. So we're just <laughs> showing you some gold flowers here. So this yep. is a Zagreb. It's looking great. Like I said, this is time of year that kind of does this. They were close together on the table. You know, once it's done blooming, we can cut it back. But they still are a great plant, very, very hardy. They don't they don't mind the drought. Uh, the, right. They um, actually like that hot sun. They yep. do really well with that. It's a great plant. And it looks great with this one you're bringing out. Yep. Great combination. Plumbago. Love plumbago. It's so rare to get something that blue. And it should, um, right, the Georgia blue that blooms in the spring might be a close hmm. color to yep, it, the cobalt. Yep. Mm -hmm. This uh, gets a burgundy fall foliage, yeah. but look at the little buds when it's done blooming. It's great. It will spread nicely. A uh, little bit late to come up in the springtime because it's not evergreen, so just remember where it's planted so you don't put a lot of mulch in that area. Yep. But this still has new growth coming out on it. Yeah. This is a great one. And a lot of these plants we're showing you, we have two or three varieties of them. Right. Like, so Catman for sure, the sneeze weed for sure, the black eyed Susans, Joe Polly. We still have a lot of the um, the American Gold Rush black eyed Susans that look great. They're starting to bloom. Yep. So that's oh, and what about is that mountain mint? Oh, that's yeah, don't forget that one. That's a this is the native plant. Appalachian mountain mint. Oh. And this is just starting to bloom. Yeah, it's so pretty. And this one's great for your pollinators as well and beneficial. Right, and we have a couple different varieties of them out yeah, of it. Yeah, we sure do. We sure do. So those will be on the table as well. All $5 this week through next Friday. Yep. 
Great opportunity. Five tables full of perennials, five dollars each, and look what I just wanted today. to show you this because they're just put <laughs> my eye out, Brent. <laughs> Watch out now. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't want to show the flowers. All right, the, so this is called Hearts of Bustin. It's a Euonymus. It's from the Burnham Bush family. Yep. Hearts of Bustin and shade. This loves the yep. shade. It's a native plant. Yep. So all you nativeites out there, we do have a, a good stock of these. They're only $24. Uh, it gets nice green sticks in the winter. You'll see these in the woods anytime you're doing hikes. Yep. And if you come in the entrance or leaving the entrance, on our shady side, um, the higher side, they're ones in full bloom right now. So we do have quite a few of these. They look great. And these little seed heads will spread. Yes, right they there. will. Yep. And give you more. So it's yep. great. It's so unusual. And it's kind of rare. I mean, not everybody has this. So yeah, for you native lovers, you got to have one of those. That's just a fall plant right there. And then the last news, tell them, let's tell them a little bit about the Oh yeah, because we just we, you're gonna get your email what to, today? Is it so coming out today? <laughs> Friday? Tonight, yeah. <laughs> what, tonight. We set the date for our pumpkin succulent class, and we're so excited, aren't we? We are. When is it? It is going to be October seventh, eighth, and ninth. So we're gonna do it for three days. We're doing it from two to three o'clock in the afternoon. We are limiting it to 12 people per class because we're going to do it out in our little shade area so we can stretch everybody out, put tables so we can all socially distance. We'll provide all the supplies you need and we're going to do a smaller type pumpkin and a larger type pumpkin, 15 for the small, 25 for the large. What you'll do is you'll need to email us, call Mindy, get on the list and she'll sign up until the class is full. And you know what, Brenda, if, if we fill up all these classes, we'll do it again. Oh, definitely, definitely. And these pumpkins last a long time. I've always have done one for a charity event in Kenmere. And this year, obviously with COVID, they're not doing it, but they did it for the first weekend in October. The gal took it home and she had it until December. Then she went outside and she planted, a lot of them were sedums, hens and chicks, evergreen sedums and different types. And she planted them in the yard and then a few were houseplant sedums that you yep. had to stay inside houseplant succulents she just potted them up so it's a multi-use yeah. Uh, oh, yeah and you multi can use the smaller ones for like little table center centerpieces yeah. you know table favors with names on them or, or the entry table entry like table that. or if you're going to a house for some dinner oh yeah you can nice take a house gift. right yeah. so something okay. like something different you can put it on your entry when you're coming into your house to, yep you know Yep, so we're so excited. We have been missing. We love doing the videos, but we're missing our classes. So we're going to give it a whirl and see how it goes. Um, um, so, yeah, we'll be preparing for that. So look for that coming out. It'll be in your email. And call us, sign up, and get ready to decorate your pumpkins. All right. And last thing is, lots of things coming in. Oh, my gosh. I just want to mention We have that. trucks and trucks and trucks. We have a lot tomorrow. We've had two today. All the hydrangeas and the wintergreen. A lot of people have been asking about wintergreen for their containers. That's an evergreen with a yep. little wintergreen berries, a native. That's coming in late, late tomorrow or early and Friday. And the frizzle sizzles. The frizzle sizzles, both violas yep. and pansies are coming in Friday morning. We're supposed to be the first drop along with autumn ferns, Christmas ferns, everything for your containers. Lots and lots of pansies and violas, all yep. types, majestics. We got mammoth. fresh mums today. Yep. We've got evergreens. My goodness, we've been busy. Got no lots of I'm evergreens tired. for your containers. So if you don't like to do your own containers, bring them in. You pick out the plants or we'll pick them out with we'll you. We'll do them for you. And we'll pot them up for we'll you. We'll get no dirty for you. We don't mind a bit. No, that's right. Hey, guess what else is here, Brenda? Stink bugs. Uh, I had three stink bugs on me today. I don't, I don't, <laughs> well, I, I don't uh, think I'm not going to say anything about that, but... <laughs> So y'all be, be aware, their stink bugs are back. So here they come. They're flying in the shop right now as we speak. <laughs> All right, folks. <laughs> we got to cut it short. All right. <laughs> Bye, you guys. We'll see you this week. Yeah, come by this weekend and see us. Thank you.